All right, so you're about to watch video two of this mini series. The first video introduces what happened. Um, it also covers the first two most important things that you've got to do if you are in chronic pain and you're having a massive flare up or you're not usually in pain a whole lot, but you are having an acute flare up. Those two things, you've got to go watch that. So make sure you go back and watch video number one. This is video number two. It pertains to all things walking and what I do in my mind, what I do physically to use walking, not just to get out and move, but as a powerful tool to get myself out of pain. This is a critical step that you've gotta have in your back pain journey. I'm gonna break it down and show you exactly what I do as I'm walking and why I do it and why you're gonna start doing it for your relief. Again, if you have not gotten already a great guide that goes along very nicely with this specific mini series, is my back pain workshop. It's completely free. It dives into all of the content that I'm talking about and you're gonna see me actually do um, in this video today, but it also just kind of gives you something all in one area that you can just download, watch, and keep forever. You can get that at fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash back pain workshop. Let's jump. All right, so let's talk really quick about the walk. This is how I structure and think about my walk as I walk through this downpour. <laughs> that we're having here in Florida um, when it's perfectly sunny outside and it's raining. So bear with me. So during the walk, you're not just taking a slow stroll where you're trying to be careful, try to get to a pace that you would consider a fast paced walk, right? A fast paced walk. From there, once you're at that pace, you're just gonna maintain, move your arms, keeping things moving. The second thing you're gonna notice is the tension, right? The tightness, the pain, the discomfort, or the protection that we kind of talked about the other day. When it comes to your body, it wants to make sure that what you're doing isn't going to hurt it. So what I try to do when it comes to walking is I get to that fast-paced pace and I maintain that. From there, once I kind of get a, an idea of what, what speed I wanna go at, where I feel comfortable, then I'm gonna start to unlock my body, unlock different aspects of, of my body that I feel like are tense still, are tight, are protecting, are whatever you wanna describe it as. So for me, it is that left side. It's the left side where my pain is at. For you, it could be the middle of your back, it could be your thoracic spine, it could be between your, your shoulder blades, it could be your lower back, it could be you know, in your L5-S1 area, whatever your situation may be. I did the same thing when I was having issues with my ruptured disc area, which is that L5-S1 area. That's where all of my pain was at 100%. All of my muscle tension was there at that spot. So with the walking, what I'm doing is I'm trying to get myself to let go of that area. So in this case, it's my left side, it's cramping. Every time I kind of like walk on my right leg and I go to lift my left leg to complete my stride, I feel that muscle kind of like, I feel it flexing and relaxing, contracting and relaxing. That's normal, there's nothing wrong with that. Even the pain or tension or discomfort that I'm experiencing with that lift off during that gait or that stride, it's okay, right? I'm not I'm freaking out about it. So what I'm gonna do instead is, I know the pain is coming from a muscle contraction, so I'm actually going to allow it to relax as best that I can. You can't stop yourself from doing things that subconsciously God created you to do, right? Your body is designed to do certain things on its own that you're not gonna control ever. So when I say relax your lower back during an activity that feels or seems impossible to relax your lower back, Think of it more of like the extra contraction, the extra work that's going on. So as I'm walking, I've got my feet up, I'm going good. In my mind, I'm like, just chill, just relax. Don't protect, don't do anything in your lower back outside of what your body's already doing naturally. So from there, I will just hang out. I'll continue my walk, continue doing it. I can fine tune or you can fine tune things like your core brace. If you feel like, man, I'm, I'm relaxing, but every time I relax, I'm just so sensitive that it just kicks in, right? It kicks in, I, I, I feel a flare up, whatever it may be, um, or that increase in sensitivity. What should I do? My 
I would encourage you to play around with your core, right? How does your core feel when you brace it? If you have some kind of smaller uh, gentle contraction in the core to kind of help stabilize the area, that might help. Outside of that, dial back walking, dial back your speed, dial back how often you do it, fine tune it. Pain relief, whether it's acute or chronic, is set on a dial. You have your own specific dial. It is your responsibility not your doctors, not your surgeons, not your therapists, not anyone else's responsibility other than yours to learn how to dial up and dial back exactly what you need. So that's my fast paced walk talk. That is what I do. That those are my thought processes while I'm walking, mentally letting go, physically letting go, and just getting my walk in, getting myself to trust being in this active kind of state, trust moving, trust using those muscles that I hurt or that area that feels tight and tense and painful, um, I'm not going to fear it and I'm going to get out there and do it.